during a mortgage application, the purchaser decides not to continue with the house purchase and withdraws the application. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the cancel case pattern. A complete process instance is removed. This includes currently executing tasks, those which may execute at some future time and all sub-processes. The process instance is recorded as having completed unsuccessfully. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. So here we have the cancel case possibility during the whole case and we cancel during the execution of B. In the next case we have A, we have B and then finally C and we finish normally. In BPMN this can be modeled using a terminate end event. According to the pattern, we need the possibility of cancelling the case during the whole of its operation. Therefore, we put a cancel case task after a parallel gateway at the start of the process. So here we start our process and in the first case we finish normally without cancelling. And in the second case we use the cancel case option and then the rest is cancelled. Note that also the end event of the successful completion of the process should be a terminate end event because otherwise the cancel case work item would remain and the case would not be finished. Thank you for watching.